Hey everyone, welcome back for week four, day four of the yoga challenge with me, Erin Motz. Today is your go-to daily meditation. So that's right, a class dedicated to meditation by itself. So this is a full 15 minutes of some different breath work that I'm experimenting with you guys and a full guided meditation that you can always refer back to whenever you need a little reset. So you don't need anything at all, maybe a block if you typically do your meditations with that, but it's absolutely not necessary. So when you're ready, meet me at the top of your mat and we'll go ahead and get started. So today we're going to be sitting down or lying down through most of it, just depending on how you're comfortable. But either way, we're going to start sitting up. So if it is really uncomfortable for you to sit with the legs crossed and with the chest lifted and with your posture correct, then I would say grab your block or whatever you have nearby, pillows work just as well, and kind of prop yourself up a little bit so that you can fully relax. So I want you to be totally comfortable here. So take a second to just get settled and get situated and then meet me in a comfortable seat here. And I'm gonna show you first the type of breath work that we're gonna be working on at the beginning of our class today. So just kind of watch me first. You don't have to do it right off the bat, but it's called Nadi Shodhana. And basically the very romantic translation is alternate nostril breathing. <laughs> And I know it sounds kind of funky, especially if you're used to following my videos. I don't tend to go into that stuff, but I'm bringing it with me to class today because it has been something that's been tremendously helpful for myself and something that I've been teaching in most of my live classes at the beginning or end of class, depending on how we feel. So sitting up tall, you can kind of watch me here. The first two fingers are gonna be resting on the forehead. So just, they're gonna be slightly bent. They're just gonna kind of sit there. They're not doing too, too much. So the in the ring finger and the pinky finger will be bent and the ring finger is going to be blocking off the left nostril. Okay. So finger, right finger, right ring finger to the left nostril. And then your right thumb is going to be on the right nostril. So we're going to alternate by breathing in through the left side, out through the right. So as you inhale, you block off the right, breathe in through the left on the exhale, block off the left, exhale through the right. Kind of confusing at first, so we'll do it a couple times just to kind of get used to what that feels like, and then we'll move into an actual sequence of it. So practice with me. Bring the first two fingers to that third eye area, that region right between the eyebrows. As you inhale, block off the right, take a big breath in through the left, go slowly. Hold at the top, block off both nostrils at the top of the inhale. Exhale through the right. Inhale left, block off the right side. Hold at the top. Exhale through the right. can relax the hand down. So like I said, I know it feels a little bit funky at first and getting used to the rhythm of what that feels like might take some time, but I promise it's worth it. Just have an open mind. It doesn't, you're not necessarily looking for this to change your whole life today, but it's something to just be open to, uh, be open to the possibility of it not being as weird as you might think. So um, like I said, I'm gonna kind of, I'll be timing you quietly. Don't worry about necessarily checking the screen every two seconds. I'll walk you through it. I'll be talking to you and I'll let you know when to open your eyes or when to start or once to think about this, think about that. So stay seated, take the right hand, left hand can just kind of rest here. First two fingers to that third eye area and slowly breathe in through the left side. So inhale all the way up. Pause at the top. Exhale through the right. Inhale left. Hold. Exhale right. Inhale left. Hold. Exhale right. 
And I want you to keep going with this. Keep the eyes closed, breathing in through the left side, exhaling through the right, going at your own pace, not worrying about the speed of it or the depth of it. Just breathe however it feels natural to. Breathe how it feels good to. And as you're inhaling, really take your time to fill the lungs up slowly, completely. Allowing the breath to flow smoothly. And with each round of breath, see if it gets a little bit longer. Especially as you're inhaling, try to relax the chest. Try not to jack the shoulders up into the ears, but try to keep the whole body pretty neutral. And again, keep doing what you're doing. A big piece of the significance of this type of breath work is that we have two different channels of energy in the body, right? So as you breathe in through that left side, it feels cool. It feels a little bit sharper, a little bit um, well, colder is the best way to describe it, I think. With the exhale through the right side, you feel that heat of the exhale. So we have these two sides of the body that, that those feelings represent. And this type of breath not only brings into balance the left and right hemispheres of the brain, but also those two energy channels of the body. And continue breathing in through the left, out through the right. So it's also really therapeutic for the circulatory system, for the nervous system. We'll take about three more rounds here. Take one more round. Let the hand come down. Let the shoulders rest. You can keep the eyes closed. And just breathe normally. Breathing in all the way, filling up the lungs, exhaling all the way. And just notice if the breath feels a little bit different now. It usually does. If it doesn't, maybe it'll happen next time. It's not a big deal. It's not something that will determine if you did something right. It's just to notice. Now you can stay sitting up or you can lie down. Again, I want you to be comfortable. We're not going to do that breath work anymore. We're just going to come into a guided meditation. So um, lie flat, stay seated. Get situated again, whatever feels best. I'm going to lie down and I'll walk you through it. So from where you are, just let the upper body relax. You can keep the knees bent with the feet flat on the floor or you can stretch the legs long. You can let the arms come out to the sides and the palms face up. And you might feel like the breath is a little bit smoother already. So just let the eyes close and bring your awareness to the breath. So just noticing if it's a little bit smoother. A little bit lighter than it was before you stepped onto your mat today. And once it falls into an easy, natural rhythm, just bring your awareness to the muscles in the face. And try to relax the forehead. And relax the eyes, the temples, the jaw. Almost like you're letting the expression kind of melt away from the face. And imagine bringing that stillness down through the neck and the shoulders. And 
letting the arms get heavy and letting the fingers curl in naturally. And just take a moment to pause, bringing your attention to the chest and feeling the rise and fall as you breathe in and out. And try to soften through the belly, feeling grounded through the hips. And imagine sending your breath all the way down through each leg, relaxing the knees, the ankles, the feet. And for the next couple of minutes, I want you to let yourself be still, be quiet. And if you find the mind wandering off to to-do lists and other things that you have going on this week, just bring your attention back to your breath, back to your body and how all of the different parts feel. And periodically check back in with the muscles in the face. Just make sure the eyes don't scrunch up. And take a couple more breaths here. And on your next breath out, I want you to drop the head to the left, just kind of turning the chin toward the shoulder, relaxing the head. And inhale, bring it back to the center and exhale it over to the right. And inhale back to the center. Start to bring some movement back just by wiggling the fingers, the toes, maybe rolling the wrists and the ankles. And eventually tuck the knees into the chest, just one at a time, and shift your weight side to side. And as usual, you are welcome to stay for as long as you like, but whenever you're ready, just go ahead and press back up to a comfortable seat, sitting evenly on the hips, letting the shoulders sit back. Just rest the hands on the knees. Take one more breath in and back out. And on your next inhale, pick the arms up overhead, press the hands together, exhale them right down to the heart center, sealing it all in. And try to take this feeling with you the rest of the day, the rest of the week. And eventually let the eyes blink open. Namaste. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I really hope you enjoyed that one. For more yoga and other cool stuff, be sure to check out erinmotz.com and I will see you right back here tomorrow.